What's good on this Friday? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad it's Friday. Cause that mean cutie off for two days. Yep, that mean I'm off for two days. I am so happy to be off for two days. Saturday and Sunday, and I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm not even gonna believe what I'm cooking today. Y'all are not going to believe what I'm cooking today. Guess what? You guessed it. It's a peach cobbler. Yup, it's a peach cobbler. Let's just get this clear. Put this out in the open, okay? I know, and you know, that I don't need peach cobbler. So this peach cobbler is not for me. It's for you. I'm giving you the recipe. So you can make you some peach cobbler because we all know Cutie cannot have peach cobbler because you know Cutie's trying to get this body right and tight. With that being said, let's get started on this peach cobbler. We got some canned peaches. It says no sugar added because you know, you know I'm trying to lose weight. So no sugar added, but you know we're gonna add some sugar because we gotta add sugar to peach cobbler. Don't even play. We're gonna need some vanilla extract. You're gonna need some ground cinnamon, some nutmeg. Use some salt, some butter. I'm gonna use this Splenda. I know it ain't regular sugar. I already know that, but we know <laughs> for the sake of cutie's weight, okay? For the sake of cutie's weight, I'm gonna use Splenda, okay? I'm going to use Splenda for the sake of cutie's weight. Being that I'm out of brown sugar, guess what? Okay, I'm going to use powdered sugar. I know, I know, I know it ain't brown. I know it's white powdered sugar, but sugar is sugar at this point. Because you know that they already say no sugar. They already say all the sugar bad for you. So, the substitute powdered sugar for brown sugar, it ain't going to matter at this point. So... With all that being said, let's get started on our peach cobbler. We're going to do first, we're going to add a stick of butter to our skillet. Now, this is some salted butter because this is what was in the refrigerator. But normally, I will use unsalted butter. For the sake of the butter that was in the refrigerator, which was salted, we're going to go with the salted, okay? I don't think nobody gonna have a problem with it. Not at all. Let's get started. Add a stick of butter. We're going to keep our fire on medium because we do not want for our butter to burn. We only want it to brown. We're gonna go with that. And now we're about to add our peaches. One can of peaches. We got one fourth cup of sugar. Oh, this looking good, girl. Girl, you doing that? You doing that, cutie? Girl, I can't wait to taste it. Fourth cup of powdered sugar. One fourth cup powdered sugar. Okay, that's one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. Just gonna mix that in. This is a half of cinnamon. Four dabs of nutmeg. Okay, that's a tablespoon of lemon juice. So I got some real peaches, right? I'm about to cut them right quick and add them to this. Cut these like this. And then I'm gonna add them to our peach cobbler mix. It's fresh peaches right here. Oh, so I added them. But that look can cook down. So we're gonna let these cook on medium while we prepare. Yeah, oh, we got some fresh peaches. Oh, and our peach cobbler. I don't know if I wanna do cinnamon toast crunch or we're gonna do cinnamon toast crunch. Peach cobbler. Cupcake cinnamon toast crunch peach cobbler. I got my cupcake liners. We're gonna do six of them. We have our one cup of cinnamon toast crunch. Ooh. Well, I 
like it's a crumble on the top. Just make sure the top is covered. Our Cinnamon Toast Crunch Peach Cobbler. We're about to put it in the oven on 400 degrees. We're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes. Look at them. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I'm about to take them out. Look how I look. Mmm. Mmm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Peach Cobbler with our vanilla ice cream, with our cherry on top. Oh my gosh. Don't it look good? Look at the Cinnamon Toast Crunch with the peach. Oh my gosh. Look at the vanilla Briar's ice cream with the cherries. Wow, oh my gosh. As always, thanks for watching Cooking with Cutie. Like and subscribe to the channel. That way when Cutie bring more great recipes, you'll be the first to know.